guys, I hope everyone's day is going well. Today we're gonna be taking a look at an extremely special and highly anticipated yo-yo. This is none other than the Unparalleled X something SU1. This is a collaboration yo-yo between two absolute beasts in the yo-yo industry, and I'm so excited to be talking about it. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, and so this is video three in my three-part series of reviewing unparalleled yo-yos. If you guys haven't seen my reviews on the Notion and Seiji, be sure to check those out. You can find them in the little bubble up there. But this is the last yo that they sent me for this little yo review session. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about what this absolute feat of engineering really is. Okay, so you guys all know Unparalleled, and I think most of you guys know what something the yo company is, but let's just give a brief education lesson on this. Something, if I refer to something from now on, by the way, it's it's the yo company. So something, the yo company, is Hiroyuki Suzuki's very own yo brand. You guys all hopefully know who Hiroyuki Suzuki is. He is an absolute legend in the yo industry and makes some pretty incredible yo-yos from what I've heard. I've never been fortunate enough to own just a, you know, solely something yo-yo yo-yo, but from what I can tell, he's making some high performance, really, really incredible yo-yos, and this yo-yo is no exception. And so what happened here is Unparalleled and Something decided to do a collaboration and produce this beast of a yo-yo. And so in today's review, we're gonna be checking this out. To start things off, let's take a look at the specs, and then we can take a little look around the yo-yo and how it was designed. Okay, so looking over those specs, everything's pretty standard for the most part. The diameter of 55 millimeters, that's pretty standard. Width coming in at 43 is a little bit more on the narrow side. I'm also just saying that because I love my wide yo-yos and I'm very accustomed to extremely wide yo-yos, but to, compared to the yo's that I've been trying and using recently, it's a little bit more on the narrow side. The weight is 65.9 grams, a little on the heavy in my opinion. Most yo's in this day and age are coming in around 63, but it's not like an insanely heavy yo-yo. This is still kind of on track. And then the material of the yo-yo is 7075 aluminum with stainless steel rims. 7075 aluminum, by the way, for you guys' education, is just a high grade of aluminum, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more premium. So specs in general aren't too, too crazy, but that price, $160. This is not a cheap yo-yo. And as usual, by the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys decide as to whether or not this yo-yo is actually worth $160. So we talked a little bit about the specs there. Let's chat about what's going on with the actual design. So starting off with the shape, this is a nice shape. It definitely has a really nice gap width. I mentioned I know before that this is a bit of a more narrow yo-yo so yes in terms of the actual specs of the yo-yo the width is kind of small however the gap width given that existing kind of width is really nice and open you can see that it's got a really nice steep curve down to the bearing some very nice low walls there we got those super thick stainless steel bimetal rims that look amazing and there's definitely a lot of cuts in this design you can see there's just a ton of little jig jag cuts that lead down to the center in my opinion shape is very comfortable no, not too sharp in any way it doesn't really hurt when it comes back to your hand that's a really good thing now moving on over to the cup, we can see all of those little cuts kind of outlined right there, and it leads down to a very flat center. It has kind of a combination of the something and unparalleled logos. Look how cool that is. I really, really like that. It's a nice art design, and it's nicely engraved onto the yo-yo. In general, this is a super clean looking yo-yo. I honestly find it somewhat similar to the surveillance in terms of shape and design. Obviously, those two yo's are completely different from different companies, but I just see some similarities here and there. Maybe you guys see the same. Okay, so how does the SU-1 actually play. This yo-yo is beyond solid. This is quite, quite possibly one of, if not the most long spinning yo-yos I have ever used in my life. When you throw it down, you can really rip this thing and just feel it tear off that string and go for an extremely long spin, I must say. I was so impressed with just how this thing felt. It has unbelievable power. After every one of my tricks, it came back to my hand with so much power, it almost felt as if it didn't even lose any spin after I did a trick. It's insane. This thing is definitely a little bit on the heavier side. I found it a little bit kind of reluctant to move, but in my opinion, once you get it up to like a faster speed, it holds its momentum very well, which is a really cool power of this yo-yo. And so I didn't have too much trouble getting fast tricks. You're just gonna have to put a little bit more effort in the beginning, getting that thing to move pretty quick, but again, holds its momentum very nicely. I've gotta say, the shape is really, really nice. So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of more wide-shaped yo-yos, and although this one isn't maybe the most wide yo-yo in the world, I still was having great consistency in hitting my tricks. I wasn't really having any issues in terms of trying to land on a, you know, string through a hop or a whip 
type or anything like that. And I was really pleased with that. I think that's just a testament to the nice open gap that this yo-yo has. So again, it may not be the most wide yo-yo in terms of straight dimensions. However, because of the shape and how steep that slope down to the bearing is, there's just a lot of room to land the yo-yo on the string. So I was having great success there. For regens and binds, I had really, really good performance there. I'm using kind of the default response pads and then also some normal string. And I didn't have too many snags. It's definitely a little scary to do a regen with this yo-yo just because it is so powerful and has so much spin to it. So sometimes when I would do a regen thinking that the yo-yo was, you know, just about losing spin, it had so much power, it just came back to my hand so fast, which was kind of a cool thing. But still really nice regen capabilities, not too much wobble when it came off the string. This yo's immense spin capabilities and really nice weight distribution, and also the fact that the shape kind of prevents the string from touching against the side of it. This thing is a beast for horizontal. I was able to, you know, kind of jump in two horizontal tricks after one another, which I would never been able to do before. So, so impressive there. Really, really great design. And so in conclusion, I think the SU-1 is just an animal of a competition yo-yo. It's so expensive. $160 is a ton of money. However, you do have to take into account they're using some very premium metal. It's a collaboration between two esteemed companies and it is a bimetal yo-yo. So there's two different metals going on this actual yo-yo. In terms of competition performance, if you're looking for a very, very light competition yo-yo, I would not recommend buying this just because it's not like the lightest, most dainty thing in the world. But if you want a strong and powerful yo-yo that has literally so much spin time and like to do those longer combos, you'll be very, very satisfied with this. Again, it is totally expensive, but if you are serious enough about yo-yo or have the money lying around and want a competition yo-yo that will absolutely not fail you, this is a really, really solid choice. When I first threw this thing, I was honestly just so surprised, and I still am every single time I throw it. I am just so impressed with how this yo-yo plays. Okay, and that's about it for my review of the Unparalleled and Something SU-1. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen the videos before, hit the subscribe button so you can see whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.